Hi, this is a quick tutorial in how to install Julia on your Android device. It could be a smartphone or a tablet without the need to root it. So first we are going to do here is I'm on Google Play Store and I'm going to search for Userland. This Userland is a compatibility layer that allows Android to install other Linux images, for example, Ubuntu. So after installation, we can go ahead and open it. And we can select a lot of options here, but we are going with Ubuntu. So we accept the permissions, allow the access to files, then we use the free option there, and open the terminal. There is also a GUI option, but it doesn't look too good on a cell phone. So you are better off with the terminal version. Okay, so we are now on Ubuntu. We are going to need to download the binaries for our operating system. So first we can go to juliolang.org, the website for Julia, click download. And in our case, this is important. We need to download the generic Linux on ARM. Copy the link address. And then we return back to our Ubuntu over here and we type double get and we just paste the link. Click enter and we should start the download. Okay, th there is a small error here. No, okay, there is an issue with the certificate so we can just type no check certificate and this should be good enough. So go ahead and type and currently it's downloading. Now, what we are downloading is a compressed file, a tar file. So after downloading, we need to decompress it. Let's just wait for it to download. We then decompress with the command tar zxvf, and then the name of the file. And everything is going to be extracted to our default path. But this path, if we want to run Julia with just the command Julia, we need to add these to bash rc. So I'm going to use nano, but nano doesn't seem to be installed. So you just sudo apt-get install nano. It's a good terminal text editor. Usually comes by default in this version, doesn't seem to be, but it's fine. So we should have it installed already. Let's try again, and it is. Okay, perfect. We go to the end of the file, and then we add the folder where Julia is to the default path directory. So export path equals then to the path of our Julia. It needs to be also the subfolder bin where the binary is. And we can end this, control X, Y to save, and it's done. We can exit the terminal, enter again, and if we type Julia, then hopefully here it is. Okay, we now have Julia running on our Android phone. We can test it, uh, maybe with a little command here. So sum from one up to 10, it should give us 55. Perfect. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this tutorial was useful for you. And feel free now to install Julia on your tablet or on your smartphone. And I'll see you again on the next tutorial.